Domo AI's video to video generator allows you to take a video and use that video to generate brand new styles that are super consistent. Whether you're looking for a cartoon style or an anime style, this has got you covered. And like Midjourney, this is run on Discord, so it is super accessible to the everyday person. And a link to that Discord will be down in the description below if you want to try it out. And one thing to note, this is free, but it's not unlimited. You do have a certain amount of credits that you can use for free, but then you can upgrade if you want to use it more. But there's enough credits to just sort of try out everything here and, you know, give it a whirl. So now that we're in the Discord, let's go ahead and check out what this can really do. So this AI has a few different commands, the slash video command, which is a video to video command, a slash animate which is an image to video slash real which is an animate to a real photo and then finally slash gen just for your generic text to image so let's go ahead and test out just the generic text to image just to see how it's working so to do that you do slash gen and then you hit space and then there's a prompt here so let's just do something crazy like a robot pig i have no idea how that's going to work, but you can go in here and as an optional one, choose a model. So if you don't have the model, it's just going to do whatever, but you can go ahead and choose one of their very, you know, fine tuned models and you don't really have to do any work. It's just preloaded in here. You just have to select one. So if we wanted this robot pig to be in a 3d cartoon style, we just select this one. And then they do have another option. If you wanted to have an image to image sort of reference there, but I'm not going to use that. I don't have a reference for a robot pig, so I'm just going to leave it as it. Is. So when you're ready to generate, you just hit enter and you can see here that I have not accepted the terms of service because this is a brand new account that I just made for this video. So you just have to select okay for the first time and then boom, you're good to go. It should just automatically load. Now that process, as far as like typing in the slash command and filling out the prompts, it's exactly like that for every single other thing. So just make sure you know how to do that because there's so many people in this discord who for some reason don't know how to do that. And if you're confused at all as to how to use this, they have a bunch of different like tutorial things here and you could do slash help and they even have this bot that comes in that you know tells you guides and stuff so you should have plenty of resources to figure out how to use this if you have any questions. So here we go. It looks like we have our images generated. Uh, this is the only one that's a robot. So I don't know what happened here, <laughs> but it definitely nails that like 3D cartoon style. Like it looks really good as far as that goes. Now, since this one wasn't very good and I probably shouldn't have chosen animal because AI struggle with animals in general, uh, I'm just going to do your stereotypical like anime girl generation. So let's go and try this out and see how this works. And there we go. It looks like our art has been generated and I feel like this did a really good job. Now the thing that's really cool about this AI in particular is that it's super consistent. So you'll see here these look almost identical like there's very slight differences between the two. It's not just four randomly completely different you know photos. It's very consistent which means you will get very consistent outputs with every generation that you do which also therefore means that you can get very specific with the details that you ask it to generate and get closer and closer to the exact thing that you're looking to generate. Now, like mid journey, you have various options here. You can upscale and, you know, do other things. So if you want to look more into that, you can obviously join the discord and test it out for yourself. But as we can see, it generates and works just fine. Now, next, I want to try the animate tool. So for this one, you have to drag and drop an image. And I just have this image of this wonderfully looking guy in a pink background and I just want to see what happens here. Now there are no other parameters so you just hit enter after you drop your image in. Now as you can see when you hit enter it's going to load this and what this is is basically a control center kind of thing where you just choose your settings that you want. So I don't want there to be too much animation so I'm just going to keep this intensity as low but if you want it to be moving and doing a bunch of stuff all at once you might want to put this intensity up to high. And we also have the option to choose three seconds or five seconds for how long the video that is generated is. I'm just gonna choose three seconds. I just sort of imagine his hands gonna move a little bit and maybe his head's gonna move a little bit. So it doesn't really need to be longer than three seconds. But as you can see, it's going to take a little bit of time and the longer time you go, the longer the wait's gonna be. So that's just how it's gonna work. So you just hit start whenever you have your settings and then it's just gonna load. Now I am also curious about how the animate function works with like drawn photos. So I have this picture of Anya here 
And so we're just going to see how this works. And we're also going to see if I could do multiple generations. I didn't have luck with that earlier when I was testing, but uh, I don't know, maybe it'll work this time. So let's just see. So it looks like it will work. Let's just keep the settings the same and hit start. And yeah, okay. It looks like I can do multiple. So that is great news. So while we're waiting for the animating ones to run, let's try the real command. So I have this picture of Farron here. And so you can do it without a prompt. I find that the prompt helps it just a little bit. There's not too much difference because like I said, this is very consistent, um, but the prompt just adds that slight little bit of, um, I don't know, I guess detail that it needs to generate a really good image. So I'm sort of just gonna very generically describe this image and then let's see what this gives us. And while we're waiting on this, our video has generated, or at least our first one. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this did. I am a little bit disappointed with this output. Um, I could see what it was going for, but I was expecting more animation in the hands, not just a pan upward. So I don't know what it was doing exactly, but uh, <laughs> we'll see if this Anya one's any better when it is done. And check it out. Our real command has finished, and this is what it gave us. So this looks pretty good. There's, you know, obviously a few differences and it's not the best and the eyes aren't purple overall you know it took the image and it took you know what it knew and it even has this flower thing thrown in there and i guess it interpreted this petal as like a wall or something or stones back there but overall it did a pretty good job i'm curious to wonder like what the difference between the real command is versus like generating an AI image with this as like the reference image and then having it just generate this. I don't know, you'll have to play with it, but it looks pretty good. I think it did a great job. Now, just for the sake of it, I am going to try this again um, because I wanna see if putting it at a different intensity will change the output uh, because I wanna see if we can get it to generate something a little bit better. So I'm just gonna go intensity high and then yeah, three seconds is fine. So let's go ahead and start this and see what it does. And we're still waiting on this Anya one over here too. So while we're waiting for these to load, let's go ahead and try the video tool because this is the one that I think really sets this AI apart from the rest. So let's go ahead and drag and drop our video. And for this one, I chose a very simple video of just a woman walking uh, on a beach with waves hitting up against her shoe. I don't know why the preview's not showing up here, but you'll see in a sec. I'm just gonna do the simple prompt. I'm kind of a simple prompt kind of guy. <laughs> so uh, there's no other thing. So you just sort of hit enter. And then just like the other ones, it's gonna ask us what we want to do. And we have a few different options here. I say a few, but we have quite a few. And let's Let's do the Japanese anime style and see uh, how that goes. Uh, I think I wanted to refer to the video source more since I, it's a very simple prompt. Let's go five seconds for this one. And as you can see here, when you're generating videos with the video command, you can actually go up to 10 seconds, but that says it'll take about 14 minutes to generate. So if you're willing to wait, you can go pretty high up there. So yeah, let's go ahead and hit start and see how this goes. And I'm excited to see that our other one uh, just finished. So let's go and check this one out. See if it's any better. Ah, oh, man, it's not, it's a little bit better, but he sort of transforms into a completely different guy. <laughs> Clearly the AI is not liking this image that I chose, but you can see that there's a little bit of movement in the face. I wish that it wasn't moving up and down though. I wish it wasn't panning. I wish we would just see the movement. Um, so that's a little unfortunate, but, uh, clearly it has a little bit of ways to go for in this regard. However, the, the video that we're we're gonna generate the video reference is gonna blow your mind. It's gonna be really cool. And it also looks like our Anya one's done. This is already looking a little terrifying. So let's go ahead and check this one out. Surprisingly, this one's actually not terrible. I mean, obviously it's not great, but it's better than the other one. Um, I, yeah, so it's just like her like nodding a little bit, which is cool. I mean, whoops, that's pretty cool. So I think it actually handles like, uh, drawn images for the animate tool better than, uh, the real life images. So I think that's quite funny. So it looks like I accidentally used up too many credits when I was trying to regenerate these a bunch of times. So I probably should have been a little bit more mindful. So I went ahead and generated that same video from another account. And here's the original video. You can see it's a woman walking in a beach with, you know, sort of waves hitting her shoes there. And then this is what it gave me. Now, as you can see, it's not 100% perfect, 
but the sand and the boots and the walking looks really consistent with each other. I mean, there's a little mess up when they, you know, cross legs here, but overall, this is the most consistent video generator that I have seen. And granted, it's not a text to video generator, it's a video to video generator, but even still, I have not seen a more consistent video to video generator. Now, since I used up too many of my credits, let's go ahead and take a look at what other people have generated. So here's one that I found that's pretty interesting. The original video is this guy who's walking away from the camera into the crowd of people. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. So let's see what the AI did. And would you look at that? Look at how consistent this is. You can clearly see that there's no changing, like even in the legs, like it looks amazing. Here's another video of what looks to be like a party. And then here's what was generated. Now the things I'd like you to pay attention to just to see how like consistent it really is, like look at, oops, look at the stripes on this guy's shirt. It moves with the video and it doesn't change. Like the stripes are consistent. And same thing, whoops, again, <laughs> same thing with this guy's bald head. It's not 100%. But any other AI video to video generator that I've seen has not maintained this level of accuracy. I don't know why that keeps happening, but just take a look at his head over there. It stays bald the whole time. It stays bald, which is just crazy to think about. Same with this guy over here. And here's one that's a little funny. And here's what the AI gave us. So it just goes to show you how well it works even with multiple different angles. Here's one of an interior of a car. So it's just, just sort of like looking in. Nothing too really special here, but let's check out what the output was. So again, with the consistency here, like it moves clearly through the shot maintaining all of these details as it sort of pans to the back here. Now here's an animate one of Anya, which honestly had a much better output than my animate of Anya did. So let's check out this one. So overall, this was just much more consistent and actually had some sort of animation. Like it looks like she's just sitting there idle, like what, you know, kind of thing, you know, which is pretty good from this reference image. And to end off this video, I just wanted to show this last one. Now the reference image that was given was just this model that was just running, you know, just a generic, you know, 3D model. And with just this small little prompt, it generated this. I think the fact that it was able to take just a 3D model and completely generate over it is a great sign for the future of this technology. Like it feels like it was just a couple months ago when I was reviewing another video generation that wasn't nearly this good. So it just goes to show you how this kind of technology is evolving so quickly. And so while this technology is definitely not perfect by any means and it has a long ways to go, we can still play around with it and get some really cool results. So once again, the link to the Discord is down in the description below if you'd like to try it out. If you enjoyed this video, leaving a like and subscribing really helps the channel out. And to discover more cool AI tools like this, check out our website at ai-search.io.